The number of dials tells me where your work ethic is. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. So when I think of a market, I'm not thinking, okay, this agent did this much percentage of the transactions this year, so they own that much market share. To me, it's what agent has the most real relationships with property owners in their area. Because if an agent has a large amount of the market share in terms of transactions, but another agent has way more market share in terms of property owners who know who they are, like them, trust them, want to do business with them, even though they might have done a minuscule amount of transactions compared to this other agent. Agent. I'm gonna put my money on the agent who has the relationships. We trade earning, we trade stocks on future earnings of companies. I look at market share of an agent and the stock of an agent on the future earnings of that agent. And to me, it's how many people know who you are. I'm not looking at the transaction. When somebody comes to me and says, Ricky, I want you to evaluate my business. I want you to, oh, here's what I'm doing. I close this many deals, I have this many listings, and I'm going on this many appointments. I say, great, that doesn't tell me anything. That's a small piece. I wanna know that data, but that's a small piece. Here's what I wanna know. I wanna know how many people you're talking to on a daily basis, how many people you're trying to talk to, how many dials, out of those dials, how many are answering, how many are you talking to, and then out of that number, how many are you deeply connecting with? The number of dials tells me where your work ethic is. I want to know what your work ethic is, what your consistency level is, how many calls you're making, how long you've been doing it. Then, out of the people that you talk to, how many you connect with, that's going to tell me where your communication skills are. So I'm looking for where's your work ethic and then where's your communication skills. Now I can evaluate your business. I don't care how many appointments you set. I made live calls on YouTube calling for sale by owners with a new agent, Paul, the other day. And we called some buyer leads and a couple of for sale by owners. And I talked to a for sale by owner and we talked for a while and I didn't set an appointment to go see him. Why? Because that wasn't where we were at that time. See, a lot of you guys are so focused on getting the appointment that you're blinded by how can we actually help this person? What are they trying to do? What's the backstory behind what they're trying to do and how can we help them accomplish that? You're just trying to get an appointment right mainstream training the paid coach guys I was telling you I don't like if you look at the mainstream training okay I want you to think about this and this is why I'm doing what I'm doing if you look at mainstream training and you look at the scripts and you watch the videos and you really think really long and hard about it and you talk and you think about how prospects respond and how how the whole game works you got to look at that and you got to think, wait a minute, that whole strategy is set up to try to figure out what the prospect can do for the agent. Think about it for just a second, what the prospect can do for the agent. And that's why the prospects are running away because they see in the first conversation you're having with them that you're just out for yourself. Hey, Mr. Seller, will you sell your house so I can make a commission? No? Well, heck, man, screw you then, man. Look, who do you know that might sell her house so I can make a commission? Because I'm here for me, right?